Does he not already watch him post? Um, how are you feeling after that collision in the ninth with Josh? Feel good. Feel fine. Um, you know, I hurt in the moment, but um, all good. Be ready. Ready to go tomorrow. Overall tonight, um, kind of a wacky game. Bases loaded in the ninth. Some stuff in the middle. I mean, how good was it for you guys to pull this out in the end and um, could have sort of stay on the tear that, that you've been on? I guess kind of what's just your overall reaction to how the night unfolded? Yeah, it was a good win. Um, you know, another division opponent. Uh, we're playing. We're playing good baseball. Pitching really well. Um, you know, getting the hits when we need them. Uh, would love to score. You know, some more runs. But um, you know, our pitchers did great. Tent Max did great. Austin did great. And um, you know, the other two at the back end, Brad and uh, Tanner, did did their jobs. And and uh, you know, like you said, base load at the end. But it doesn't it doesn't matter how it, how it looks as long as you get it done. And then, Drew, what was just your reaction to sort of that what what unfolded in the fourth with with Joe asking to have Max check? Seemed like you were kind of around the mound and saw some of what was going on. I guess this is, you know, this is kind of what it is now. And, um, you know, everyone's going to have their own reaction, um, good, bad, and different, um, whether it's, you know, an opposing team, our team, our player, their player, whatever it is, um, you know, some people are going to take it better than others. And, um, you know, it is what it is. And I'm just glad we uh, we came out on top. Thanks. Mark Zuckerman, MassSports.com. Hey, Trey, in a moment there were maybe the opposition's trying to get in your guys' heads a little bit, maybe rattle you all. How do you feel like you all responded to that, specifically Max, but all of you the way that you responded to that and played the rest of the game? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, you know, more on, you know, whoever's on the mound because, um, you know, he's in the middle of a rhythm, you know, middle of his inning for the most part. Um, it wasn't, you know, for the most part, at least how I view it, it wasn't a lot of us in the middle of that. It was just more so him um, and getting through that inning. Um, so he, you know, he handles it like he always does. He goes out there and competes and um, he does a great job. And, um, you know, I don't think he had his best stuff tonight, but he made pitches when he needed to and, and kept us in the game and, um, you know, pitched well and, um, you know, didn't let it rattle him. So. Um, I think that's why he's a Hall of Famer. That's why he dominates his, each and every year. And uh, no matter what somebody, you know, is going to try to do to him, he's going to uh, continue to do his thing and, and uh, be good for us. As much as you all look at this as a day-to-day -day thing, trying to win that day's game, go 1-0 and all that, do you feel like you're, you're making a little bit of a statement here the last week or two? I mean, sure, but... Um, you know, if we don't play good baseball for the next 90 games and it doesn't really matter. So, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of baseball left. Um, I think we're starting to play how we feel like we should. Um, we should win a lot of games and we got the talent in the room and it's a matter of, um, you know, executing when we need to. And uh, we've done that for the last, you know, 10, 15 games, whatever it may be. And I think we uh, we're playing good and we just got to keep it rolling and, you know, ride it out as long as possible and um, have fun with it. Enjoy it. Maria Torres, the athletic. Hey, Trey. Um, you know, you've, you've played behind Scherzer for several years now. Um, did you kind of notice that he was kind of struggling a little bit being only uh, using rosin? Say that again. Sorry, did you notice that he was – sorry, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, can you – did you kind of notice just playing behind Scherzer that he was kind of struggling a little bit um, to get a grip? Oh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know how that looks in the box. Um, you know, for me, guys go out there and sometimes they have, you know, good command. Sometimes they don't. I don't know. I don't pay attention to what pitchers do. I don't care. Um, you know, I care about getting outs. And, um, you know, I don't know if it was the grip or not or this or that. But, I mean, you're striking people out. Um, he seemed like he had good command of his fastball. Um, it just felt like they were, you know, found a lot of pitches off, um, you know, and the high pitch count um, was there. But. I mean, it, you know, that's going to happen through the course of the season. So I don't know what it was or why it was or, you know, whatever it may be. But um, like I said, he pitched well enough for us to win tonight. And, uh, you know, that's what we need. And I don't mean to, like, make light of what actually went on on the field, but you guys were, like, laughing in the dugout a little bit after the whole, like, fourth inning ordeal. Um, is it one of those things where, like, you kind of have to laugh at it because really what else can you do at this point? Yeah, I mean um... – you know, I don't think we're we're necessarily. I gotta be. I guess I gotta be careful. But you know, when when you're you're 
you know, you're essentially calling somebody out, out for, you know, cheating. So, or whatever you're calling it nowadays, I don't know. There's so many, everything's changing all the time, but, um, you know, so it's hard not to take that personal, um, you know, and our clubhouse when, you know, another team is essentially saying that and, you know, I don't know his reasoning or this or that, but, um, you know, it gives us, gives us a little fire to go out there and compete and say, you know, okay, um, that's what you think. Let's, let's, uh, let's compete and see, see who comes out on top. So, um, you know, it's nothing more than that. I don't think it's, you know, anything personal, but, um, I think there needs to be a little bit of, you know, respect b between both sides. Cause it's, you know, everything's changing, like I said, and, um, you know, I don't think we, we necessarily uh, take that kindly. And I don't think they should if we did that to them as well. And on a completely different topic, you guys have a Gerard Parra back. I'm wondering if you've already noticed kind of like that effect. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, we've been, we've been playing pretty good, but um, just having him in the clubhouse and for morale and, um, and whatnot, I think is always good. Um, you know, we got a pretty good group here. Each and every year we've had... You know, I say it all the time that, you know, Riz and the front office are, are great at, um, you know, signing guys and signing good people. So we have a lot of fun. Um, we try to enjoy it, but he's a, he's a special character. And, you know, he's had some good at-bats already for us. And, you know, the double the other day and, you know, the walk tonight. So um, he's going to be, a, you know, a good veteran pres presence and, and uh, you know, fun teammate to be with. Thank you. We'll finish with Paul Casella and OB.com. Trey, you said it's hard to not kind of take it personally. I mean, it's a team you play 12 more times starting in 13 hours tomorrow. Being a division rival, does that kind of add a little fuel to the fire? Is it something that could kind of carry over to tomorrow or down the line? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think any of the players necessarily, you know, um, you know, I guess I don't know what the word is, but, you know, we have no animosity towards, you know, their their players, and, and, and I don't think they do towards us per se. Like I said, we're going out there, we're competing. We all have to abide by the same rules and, um, you know, the same checks and same protocols now. So, um, you know, this is how we how we have to live. But um, I think, you know, anytime you can play a division rival, you need you need to win. And, um, you know, tonight was a good start and hopefully we can get it uh, done again tomorrow and, and move on to Miami and, and uh, continue this kind of little hot streak run.